Morning, people. Uncle Albert again here at DMX Towers. People have been asking me uh, if I saw pressure washers. And the short answer to that is, I've always sold pressure washers. I've sold Karshers, Nilfis, Gurney, if anybody remembers them, them green things. Uh, you name it, I've sold all types of pressure washers. But when I set up EcoFleet Cleaning Solutions, we decided not to, because we were concentrated on the chemicals. So, I do have experience with pressure washers, but I'm not getting into selling hot machines and servicing and all this and that and the other. So, the product I use is this little baby here. Now it might look small, but it ain't, it's packed a proper, ooh, proper punch, okay? It weighs in at about 30 kilo. So, we are gonna start selling this pressure washer. It's an Italian interpump, so it's got a brass head on it. I wouldn't sell a pressure washer, I wouldn't use myself or recommend. We call, we're gonna call this the DMX Pressure Washer PW110 for the simple reason it's 100 bar, which is 1650 PSI and 10 litres a minute. And that's the important thing. When people say to me, how much is it Albert? And I tell them, they say, bloody hell, that's a lot more expensive than an Ilfisk or a Karsha. Well, it's gonna be. This is 10 litres a minute, genuine. It's a commercial pump in there, so it's gonna last you a lifetime. A little bit about the machine. I'm gonna demonstrate all the different uh, bits and bobs and what they do. Um, there's some optional lectures with it, like your snow foam lance, your, it, all sorts. So, firstly, the machine itself, um, basic on off switch. You've got a quick release coupling for the eye pressure hose, okay? So that comes out of the machine and it's on a quick coupling basis. So you don't need uh, grips to get that out, in or out, okay? It's got a little rubber grommet on there and it basically pushes in and that's the high pressure side of the business. Then on the low pressure side of the business, you've got a, you need a normal hose, God knows, and on there, as you can see, again, rubber grommet, all positive fittings, brass fitting in there, so it's not gonna shear off. And you literally push that in there, give it a little bit of a tighten up. And you've got cold water mains pressure going into it. It's also got a chemical injector, okay? So that just drops into a five litre chemical container. Uh, that's got a little filter on the end there as well. It works off a normal 13 amp, so it's 214, normal 13 amp plug. It's all molded on, it's all good quality. Uh, there's a dipstick on there. And that, and you've got a sight glass on the side to check your oil, but there's an oil filler cap there with a dipstick in it as well. So that's the machine itself. It's dead easy to operate. All you do, get water to it. Uh, you've connected the trigger, pull the trigger to, to let any air out, okay, and then switch the machine on with the switch, and it'll fire into life. Right, the Lancers. So, all the uh, accessories and, and bits and bobs you get with the, with the pressure washer. Uh, the only time you'll need a spanner, my old spanner, is to connect the high pressure hose To the gun so that's one half of the gun you get that with the washer okay you literally connect him on here my hands are code nobody cares i'm freezing miserable wet nobody cares nobody sends me any presents or wishes me happy birthday or anything like that anyway shut up tighten that on there okay you get that with it and you also get this okay this is a vario lance okay and what that does is when you push it forward it's high pressure when you pull it back it goes on to low pressure and it sucks the chemical through ignore the snow foam a minute it's not that just normal chemical so if you want to put tfr onto a vehicle or anything you just pull it back and you'll get the uh, the chemical coming through it's also got, because it's called Vario Lance, a varied nozzle, okay? From pencil jet through to fan jet, and it's variable, okay? So you get that. Now then, I'm gonna teach you old soldier's trick. Another old soldier's trick. 
See that, don't you, lads? We all like a bit of Vaseline. What I suggest you do when you get your machine, you put some Vaseline, because on the end of there, it's a brass fitting, but there's a rubber hose, you know, hose connector to secure it so it doesn't leak. What am I going to do with that now? Anyway, you put, can I'm holding my finger. So you put that in there, you set it to the angle you want it at, I set it to that. And then you just tighten this up, no need for a spanner or anything. Now that, when you've connected it to the washer, my finger's still here, look with this on. Turn it on, pull your trigger, ready to go. Okay? So that's your standard lance. I'm going to wipe this finger because it's getting right on my tits now. So before I show you the other ones, I'm going to do the same with them. Just going to put a bit of Vaseline. Because what happens is, if you don't use the pressure washer for a while, it doesn't rust, but it just oxidises a little bit, okay? And it can stick in. It's a bit awkward to get in and out, so... Doing this, it's just a nice simple operation, you only ever need to do it probably once even a year. Okay, get that Vaseline off your finger. Okay, put that away for later. You dirty, honestly. Right, so. Put spanner to one side, don't need him anymore. So we've got the pressure washer. I'm just going to take this off here for the simple reason it's a lot easier to handle without the hose on. So that's your lancers greased up, right? You're ready to go. Right, I've took the hose off there to make it easier. I'm going to take that off, just hand screw it, pull it out, comes out nice and easy. Right, this piece of kit here. I all know you love them, what have you. Right, there's your snow foam lamps. Again, variable. Not that you want it variable, I just have it to the widest uh, fan, to be honest with you, when it's snow foam. But the beauty about this as well is, you can actually adjust it, so you're not going back to your machine, to fully on or fully off, and everywhere in between. So you've mixed your snow foam, one to four, you've put it in there. This is how much I used on my car yesterday, by the way. Okay, so that's now ready to go with full snow foam, but you want it switching off when you're doing your pre-rinse and your after-rinse, okay? So that's handy. So that's your snow foam lamp. Fantastic piece of kit. And DPD man's here making a row with beeper again, look. So, last but not least, is this one. Not as popular as the others, to be honest with you. This again is a Vero lance, okay? You can use it on pencil or a varied spread. It's up to you how you use it. This is an actual quite a long lance. It's an extension lance. Now, it's quite good if you imagine... I'm going to go out of video shot, so I can't go any further back. But that will reach up, I mean, I'm um, four foot six plus, it's, it's going right up, you know? If you want to use it like for trailers or high usage, or because it's bent like that, you can use it under wings. Cracking piece of kit, again, variable, and an optional extra. That's it on the Lancers. Um, all the standard lancers. I'm going to put photos up here of all the different bits and bobs that you can buy as well with it. Uh, there's also a drain kit, but it's a, a drain cleaning kit, and which is a long hose. That's there's a photo up there at the moment. Uh, so there's all other bits and bobs that I'll put on here. Uh, one of the small but important point is you can buy this trolley, okay? Uh, and the machine sits on it and it's bolted to it. A lot easier for getting round and putting your hoses round. So that's it. Nice bit of kit, so it's the uh, the DMX PW100-10 pressure washer. Uh, have a look at it, it's going to be in our, in our shop, 
and we're going to be doing bundle deals so you buy the washer and you get loads of different cleaning products free included okay just as a bit of a promotion uh, so check that out on our website www.domix.co.uk and I'll see you in a bit thanks for watching bye fuck me I'm freezing